Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create or set up Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible server for the latest version. Okay, so I have connected to Azure portals then in search box search for Azure database for see here we have the Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible servers. Click on it then click on create or click on create both are same then see here this is the estimated cost okay then we have to fill all these details based on these options that we selected cost will change okay so the latest release is 17 then provide the name for the server Seventeen. name must satisfy these conditions then select the region i am going to select region which is nearest to me then select the version c it is selected latest version and we have to select the workload type if it is production we have to select production and if it is development select development see based on production and development estimated cost per month changes here okay then compute and storage if you want to configure click on here i am going with burstable it is the least one and compute size i am going to select one cpu and two gigabytes memory and storage type we have only two options premium ssd and premium ssd version 2 so whatever you want you can select see and storage size minimum is 32 gigabytes and max is 32 terabytes okay i'm going to select minimum for this demo purpose remaining options i'm going with all defaults then click on save now availability see here it is disabled see because it is development so if you select production you will be able to select it okay then authentication see here we have three methods postgresql authentication only microsoft entra authentication only and postgresql microsoft entra authentication i am going to select my postgresql authentication then create the username username then provide the password for this user confirm the same then click on networking and connectivity method see here public access or private access okay i am going to select public access then allow public access select the checkbox and allow access to any other to this server okay if you want you can select it then firewall rules we will configure later by by default it has added the current client ip address and if you want to add hello all you have to click on this add 00 255 okay and private endpoints I, I don't want to create if you want to create you have to click on here then click on security data encryption see here we have the customer manager security manager key or service manager key whatever you want you can select it then click on tax if you want to provide any tax you can provide here otherwise click on review and create see validation failed required information is missing or not valid so please correct before having review again okay see here in basics something is missing so click on it see here we have to select the resource group i forgot to select it okay you can select it or you can create a new resource group see validations passed and see here in the left side these are the features that we have selected and this is the estimated cost per month okay if you are okay with all the settings then we have to click on create see initializing deployment see your deployment is succeeded when if you go to notifications see here deployment succeeded now click on go to resource then see here this is the endpoint which is used to connect to azure database for postgresql flexible server see here this is the subscription id see this is the creation date this is the version of the postgresql server okay region or location properties recommendations and more and see here in the left side you have the iam if you want to assign iam you can assign and see here we have different options now we will connect to this postgresql server click on this copy button then open pg admin Now right click on servers then register then select server then provide name name can be anything 
then go to connection in connection in connection of for host name or address we have to give that endpoint okay then port number 5432 main database postgres username also same postgres then provide the password that we have set see username is see here user this is the username so paste it provide the password that we have set for this user then click on save see unable to connect to server connection time dot if you receive this error then go to networking then add this client ip address then click on save see successfully updated connection security settings now go to pg admin then provide the password again then click on save see we have successfully connected expand the connection see here we have the azure minions and azure sys databases and also see here this is the user that we have created and remaining are the default users that comes with azure database for process equal flexible server okay if you want to create database right click and select create then select database then provide the name of the database then go to sql see this is the script okay and if you want to provide these options you can provide then click on save see new database is created if you want to run queries against this database right click and select query tool see here we have to run the queries if you want to verify the version then run select version then click on execute see you got the version okay you can perform the queries or actions how we perform on on-prem okay so go to here then go to overview and if you want to restart you have to click on restart and if you want to reset the password click on here and if you want to stop this Azure database for first is equal you have to click on here if you are not using I strongly recommend to delete to save the cost okay so in this video we have seen how to create our setup Azure database for first is equal flexible servers and connected from the PHP. okay for more Azure or DevOps tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you